The city of Las Vegas is continuing to crack down on illegal short-term rentals, and the fines are amounting to thousands of dollars. News 3's Georgia Costa breaks down a year-long investigation that's now left a homeowner with a very big dent in his wallet. Yeah, this isn't the first time the Las Vegas City Council has enforced short-term rental regulations, and by the actions in this morning's council meeting, members of the board are showing they aren't taking it lightly when it comes to these illegal operations. On top of my mortgage is putting the place into basically foreclosure. It's way too steep of a fine for what I did. After attempting to appeal 110 days of civil penalty fines at $500 per day, Las Vegas property owner Jonathan Tyler Folks has been left with a hefty price tag of $55,000. So you acknowledge that you are operating a short-term rental? I acknowledge that, yes. However, Folks says at the time he didn't know his short-term rental was operating illegally. I know that it's, it's done and it's messed up. Once, like I said, the code enforcement officer first approached me, that's when I full, first <coughs> pulled it off the books for about a month or so. And that's when I was approached talking with friends that, hey, this LLC idea allows them to buy into the LLC and it's not a short-term rental. Las Vegas Code Enforcement Manager Eric McCoy claims the appealant used a fake local business license and after several visits by code enforcement officers, continued to illegally operate the short-term rental and advertising it under numerous occasions. Mr. Tyler stated to effect he doesn't see how the city can uh, tell him what to do with his property. Mr. Tyler was warned that enforcement would follow. A look at a city approved short term rental map shows folks' property near Oki and Arville sits within the boundaries of two already approved sites. And according to the city ordinance, short term rentals cannot be within 660 feet of one another. And I've completely stopped the short term rental. It's off the books. As soon as this all happened, it's done. The property is actually losing a ton of money right now. It's unrented. Can't find anybody to rent it. Now left with a fine of $55,000, folks says he's afraid it will make him go bankrupt. It's a learning transparency and consistency and following the law. And when we're wrong, we will say it. And when we're not wrong, we hold tight. Now, folks has been given the option to enter into a payment plan with the city. Now, if he fails to make the payment, the city would impose a lien on his property and interest would incur on top of the 55 grand. Back to you. Much talked about uh, issue here. So thank you, George, for that update.